good. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Who missed me? Let me stop being annoying. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a life update, uh, get ready with me, per se, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys on in. I'm spilling some tea on myself, one of the people, I'm just kidding, that was a joke. Yeah, I kind of rambled a lot in this video, and I'm just, I'm just updating you guys, so if you guys are ready for the update, and you're ready to see how I did my face, then go ahead and keep on watching. Um, but if you're not subscribed, make sure you are, I definitely want to hit 30k by May, so if you guys want to help me out, then go ahead and join my fam. But yeah, I love you guys and I just keep on watching. Bitch, my hair look good. Susie snapped. <laughs> I'm going to use the Max Strobe Cream and Peach Light. My skin is already looking pretty dewy, which I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> but I'm going to throw this on top. I feel like this Strobe Cream gives me just such a nice glow, but like it doesn't make me look oily per se which i don't think will ever happen my skin is dry as hell uh, but yeah i really do i found that i really like these drop creams i haven't used them in years but they really are good products okay so i uh, know y'all are like taylor taylor um there's a lot we can talk about i got a lot to update you guys on i know you guys it's probably obvious like i don't just disappear for no reason you know people go through things uh, but like I said in my like anxiety and depression video, um, I'm not one to really talk and like open up about things, but it's coming to the point where like if I'm deciding to do this for a living, not that I have to share everything with you guys because everybody has the right to privacy, but I feel like it's nice to let you guys know like, hey, I'm not like just dipping. <laughs> I just don't want to do this anymore. Um, these past two years honestly have been a whirlwind for me. This is the most depressed I've honestly ever been, if we're being real. Uh, I don't like talking about these things because honestly, like just saying that just now, it honestly makes me want to cry. But a bitch has been going through it. Um, and I'm trying my hardest to find my way in life. I just turned 23 on the 4th. I feel like I'm growing into a nice young woman, but I would like to, I don't know how to put it. I need to just get my life together. I don't, I just have felt lost for so long. And I guess I'm trying to find my direction and my place in life. And I've said that in a video or two before, but I still am, like, I'm young. <laughs> and I don't know, like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I always say I don't know because like, it's really hard for me to articulate my thoughts because I'm not one to open up and share things with everybody, which I am trying to break out of. Um, I feel like people can get the wrong perception of me. They see the things that I post online and like they see that I come, I don't like saying that I come from money, but I do. Like my parents have worked very hard for everything that they have. And at this point, they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. So they're taking care of their kids as well. And I'm just used to having nice things. So I feel like people see that because they see how I live on social media and they just assume, oh, she's snobby or oh, she's, she's, um, spoiled is what I've read. <laughs> before and to me personally spoiled has a negative connotation when it really doesn't have to be i feel like there's a difference between being spoiled and being entitled or being spoiled and being snobby and being spoiled or being rude like yes i can claim being spoiled and honestly i love my parents i'm i'm grateful for it like but to me spoiled is just i'm well taken care of. a lot of women be like oh my god i can't wait for my man to spoil me one day but when it comes to somebody saying, oh, yeah, I'm spoiled, then there's something wrong with it. But if somebody's talking about spoiling you, then it's okay. You know, like, I feel like it's not that big of a deal as long as I'm not mistreating people and making people feel like, oh, they're less than me or, oh, you don't have what I have, so I'm better than you, then it should never matter. Um, but people's perception is their reality. That's cool. But I'm just here to let you guys know that's really not how I am. I just feel like a lot of people... can misconstrue things because you only see what's being put online. Um, but I am here to tell you guys that I'm gonna try my hardest to be more myself on camera. I still have a hard time just like being comfortable. I know it might show. I feel like some people probably think like, oh, well, 
she doesn't show much personality on camera and I know I've been struggling with it. Okay, you guys, pause. I'm using this Cabral because Ant and Sky and Ivy were just raving about how good it is. And this brush, it's a mini Cabral. And my hands are huge. I have man hands, if you guys don't know. Hands are huge. My hands are honestly usually as big as a guy that I'm talking to or bigger. My hands are absolutely ginormous. So things like this with my long nails, it's as long as my nails. They just don't work. But okay, I, I guess I need to stop talking badly about the brow. I literally was just dragging this product earlier, saying how dry it was and how I didn't like it. But honestly, this is cute. She's cute and I stand from what I see. Sorry that I'm turning my head. I'm looking in the mirror. This is, I don't know, this is probably honestly the hardest time I've ever had in life. There are multiple things that have happened in the past two years that I've just, I've been struggling with how to like take it, accept it, deal with it, let, move on, like let go and move on. Like it's very hard for me to let go of things for, for some odd reason, I hold on to hurt and that has really hindered me. Um, and I really hold on to things and I really care about the person. So I guess I've been feeling down because I don't know, I guess I have a big heart and I've always said that, but I will let people into my life without really getting to know them very well. And people will come into your life with bad intentions. And I, that will go completely over my head. Like I'm that little girl that will be like, oh, they don't want to hurt my feelings. They don't want to steal from me. They don't want to use me. And meanwhile, they really are and they really do. So I I have to teach myself and learn to like put my foot down. When I see those red signs, I need to just be like, hey, I, I'm not fucking with you anymore. You got to go. Um, I've had multiple situations in my life recently where I, I saw the red, the red signs or the red flags or whatever you want to call it. And I just ignored them just because I so-called care for that person and they're supposed to be my friend and they're supposed to be my boyfriend and they're supposed to be this, they're supposed to be that. When at the end of the day, if somebody's mistreating you and they're making you feel any way other than good, nobody, anybody in your life and in your circle should not be making you feel like, oh, dang, you know? So I got to the point to where that's what I felt 24-7. Everybody that was surrounding me, like, there was nobody in my corner other than, like, my family that I felt like was there for me. Like... My mom, my dad, my brothers, they are always there for me. They are always the people in my life that are like, hey, that person's not your friend and you might want to cut it out. But me, being the hard-headed ass little girl that I am, I never listen and I always try to figure things out on my own and I end up hurt in the end. So basically, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. These past two years, my mom has been trying to warn me. My dad has been trying to warn me, trying to keep me away from certain people. And I went against the grain. And I either allowed those people to stay in my life or I stopped talking to them and then I let them back in. And it was just a world went a mess. I this 2018 baby, it was a hot mess. <laughs> it started off good, but baby, I tanked my own year. And I tanked my own year by not like protecting my peace. You have to protect your peace, your energy, your space. Like you cannot allow people to come in and just disrupt you and like literally post up and sit there and like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna just keep bothering you. And I'm the kind of person to where like, if somebody's bothering me or pestering me or getting on my nerves, they have to do it for a little while before I really will speak up and say something, which I know is wrong. And I know I've mentioned that before, but it's the truth. And I need to, I guess the word is, or the saying is grow a backbone and tell these people to fuck off, <laughs> essentially. But I'm just, I'm too nice and a lot of people know that and they'll see that and they'll take advantage of it. I've had so many people come into my life and just, like I said, post up, take things, take, 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 not give a damn thing and then just leave. And then I'm just stuck there in the end sitting there crying like I don't understand. But at the end of the day, like if I would have just listened to my gut from the beginning, I probably could have avoided all of these problems. I could have avoided all these issues and I didn't. And I went through things over and over and over again, trying to see, okay, well, I like to see the best of people. So I like to see if, okay, well, maybe if I give you another chance, you'll prove me wrong and you, you'll do better next time. No. And I honestly, I really did that all of 2018. <laughs> and it's sad to say that I wasted a year away like that, but I kind of did like, but it's cool. I honestly feel like now that this new year has started, 
there's nothing that's going to get in the way of what I really want. And all this time, I really hadn't really known what it was. Like, I thought I wanted to do it, but I just didn't have it figured out. I, in my head, I just really felt lost. I felt like I was just going in circles and I was honestly just getting up every day existing. Like, now I felt like I didn't have a purpose. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. And now I just feel like I'm starting to figure it out. And with figuring it out, bitch, I'm about to step this shit up. I, I know y'all see this quality in itself, but this is this is honestly just the beginning. I might honestly mean you too, <laughs> y'all know back and forth like i'll come i'll be consistent for a hot second and then i'll dip and i'll come and i'll be consistent for a hot second and then i'll dip and it's always because i haven't been sure like i haven't been positive i haven't been like taylor you're gonna sit down you're gonna do this and you're gonna do this shit. but now i just feel like i don't know what the difference is i guess i i have help and i just all this time I kind of felt lost and like I didn't know what I was doing and I felt like I didn't have anybody real in my corner that was willing to help me and Susie, heaven sent, God sent. She reminds me of my mom, honestly. Her and my mom are very similar when it comes to being just strong, independent black women and I don't know, I'm just excited. I'm excited to have somebody around me um, that does the same thing that I do because here in Houston, like at this point, I don't have anybody in my circle that has the same job description as me per se um everybody else does what they do um and it's just really cool to be able to share something like that with Susie like in the same city I haven't had that feeling in a really long time like I haven't had somebody in the same city as me that I was just like cool cool we can go shoot we can go we can just honestly just sit down and just talk about shit like create make plans I just feel motivated that's the word I guess. I filled in my brows, like I said, with Cabral in the shade two, and then I used precisely my brow. This is honestly my jam. I don't ever really use anything other than this brow pencil. The only reason why I used Cabral is because they were dragging me in our group chat earlier for not liking it. And honestly, I think I like it. I don't know why I didn't like it the first time I tried it. Wow, I lost the brush already. Oh, JK, I found it. Um, I didn't like it the first time I tried it because it was just so dry. And I, I didn't understand why it was so dry, but I don't know if this is a new formula or maybe because it's brand new. This isn't as dry. And I definitely like how it looks in my brow versus my hair color. Um, this Fix Plus is like the, um, what do you call it? What is it? Uh, the sparkles in it. <laughs> it rubbed off. My cousin works at MAC and she gave me this. Thank you, Jordan. Um, but it says Fix Plus and I'm, it says something light at the bottom, but I don't know what it is. It's, oh, ha, uh, in the shade gold light. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to spread this all over my face. I really like how it makes me look dewy. Okay, I said spray, but... Clearly, I just took a bath. So at the end of the day, I just, you have to protect your space. I need to keep doing my face. I don't know why I stopped beating my face. Let me, let's get back on track. You need to just watch your own back and just make sure you're doing what makes you happy. I spent so much time this past year, like trying to cater to other people when there was no reason for me to be doing that. Like I'm young, I'm 23, like Taylor, what are you doing with your life? So it's time for me to refocus my energy. So I'm ready. <laughs> I figured out that yes, this is really, really, really um, the lane I want to stay in. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to work with the animals or if, if anybody's wondering why I'm rubbing the end of a brush onto my face, it's because there's like nothing left in this stick. <laughs> and bitch, I, I gotta get all the product out here, okay? It's not getting thrown away. So anyways, um, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to work with kids, if I wanted to work with animals because I'm the kind of person that's extremely nurturing. I love loving. I love giving love. Um, but makeup and creating art and just art in general that's just that's where I feel like I'm at home so I just feel like this is where I should be and I felt I guess like I shouldn't have been here quote unquote because when I was trying to be here I had so many other things distracting me and it took me off course and eventually after a while I was like okay well maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this maybe my purpose is something else but no, I, I, this is what I want to do, so I'm going to give it my all. It's time. It's go time, okay? Um, but I'm using the Make It Forever HT stick in the shade 123, I think. Yeah, 123Y365, whatever. Um, I 
like this sponge. Um, Susie's letting me use her Sonia Kashuk sponge. I usually use the Makeup Shop one, which I still really like, but I like how big this one is. This is cool. But yeah, no, when it comes to trying to figure out what I'm trying to do with my life, I know I've seen things online where people are just honestly trying to figure it out themselves, like trying to see if I'm a bottom girl, or trying to figure out if I just quit, or if I'm still moving to LA, and X, Y, and Z, and I'm here to tell you I'm not a bottom girl. I was in the club a little too much, but I'm not a bottom girl. <laughs> um, and I am still moving to LA. I'm very excited to move to LA, but like I said, with moving to LA, everybody knows LA is the land of Lala and fakeness. Like, like, I'm not about to go out there and expect to, oh, I need some new friends, or, oh, I want to hang out with this person, hang out with that. I'm going out there with the mindset that I'm working. Like, that's it. I, I don't need any more people in my circle. I'm good with that. Like, I'm just good with Taylor and being in my own space and trying to figure out what it is that I want to do with my life. Um, in the past, I felt like, not that I was worried about having friends, but like that was something that like I cared about, of course. And now I'm to the point to where like everybody's so fake and I've had so many people come into my life and leave and act like they didn't do anything wrong to where I'm just like, I'm over it, I'm done, I'm tired. And it's just old, it's just really, really old. You just, you just I don't know, It's I felt like 2016 was the year that I discovered that I really wanted to like try this. 2017, I left, I went to school, I got distracted, I fell off. In 2018, I came back home. I came back here to Houston and I decided that I was gonna start trying and then I started making silly decisions to take me right back off course. So on top of depression, I was also allowing people into my home, my life, my heart that just should not have been there. Um, and things like that, they can add up, they can build up and they can definitely do things like make you not wanna create. And that's where I've been. I've been struggling <laughs> to get out of my own head, my own thoughts, I beat myself up. 24 7 I know I shouldn't but that's just a really bad habit that I have in mind so I just I'm gonna spend 2019 loving on Taylor I'm gonna spend 2019 refocusing on Taylor I'm gonna spend 2019 getting Taylor back to where she needs to be and y'all are gonna love it I'm you're gonna you guys are gonna enjoy every second of it because I'm gonna be myself I haven't been myself in so long and I feel like you guys could see it on camera like even when I felt like I was trying I'll watch it back I would upload it anyway because in my head, I was just like, everybody's waiting for content, Taylor, and you're just, you're just not giving them anything. So, I would upload things anyway, and I probably shouldn't have uploaded them, but yeah, you could just tell I just didn't seem like myself, or I just seemed like, blah. That's because I was blah inside. Like, I was struggling, <laughs> and I was struggling, and I didn't know I was struggling. But I'm just glad I fixed it, and I'm glad I'm turning it around, because... I don't know, you guys just, you just can't let life knock you off your feet. <laughs> you gotta figure out a way to keep pushing. But when it comes to makeup looks, I feel like I haven't done like super creative makeup looks and like colorful makeup looks in forever. And I know what the reason is for it, um, but I, I wanna get back into it. So if you guys ever like wanna send me something that you want me to recreate at this point, I'm taking offers, <laughs> I'm taking requests, send them my way. Cause your girl, I just, I'm at a loss. I sometimes I really sit down and I just look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I used to sit down and just think of things. They used to just come to me, but I guess life can fog your head up. <laughs> Cause <coughs> just, it just doesn't come as easy at this point. And I know eventually I'll get back there, but as of right now I can use a little help. So if you wanna help your girl out, feel, feel free. Um, I literally am obsessed with this stick. Like, I don't know why I didn't use it when they first sent it to me. I love this cream contour stick. It's the Benefit one. I know y'all probably like, did Benefit sponsor this? No. <laughs> y'all, I've been gone forever. Why would Benefit sponsor it? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but, anywho, it just blends out really well. I used this Makeup Shack T31 brush. I honestly used to stand this brush for concealer, which... I haven't done that in a while. I should probably use it again and see if I still like it. I still use my sponge, but this brush blending out cream bronzer or like concealer, it just is amazing. And I use it to blend out my cream contour and I always use it to blend out my cream contour and I love it. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is so gross. I can't believe I just burped like that. Um, oh my gosh, bronzer on my forehead when it comes to 
light hair. Just stresses me out. Like I'm stressed. I look like bae. Can I stop being on No. Taylor, stop talking challenge. Taylor, stop joking around. Taylor, get to a work challenge. How about that? And I guess for anybody out there that kind of has the same personality as I do, if I could tell my 16-year-old self or just somebody that's even my age that has the same temperament that I do, if you tend to let people walk all over you, if you tend, you, you like, I feel like I can stand my own. I could definitely beat your ass if I had to. <laughs> um, but I'm just kind of not, I'm, not that I'm not confrontational, but I'd rather just like walk away from the situation or just not be bothered with you anymore. Like, if you're somebody that feels like you constantly find yourself letting people walk over you, you need to figure out how to stand up for yourself. Honestly, like that's been my issue is I've let people come in and out of my life and say and do whatever they please. And like, of, it would take a, like multiple times in multiple situations before I would stand up and be like, bro, like, why are you still talking? Why are you treating me like this? Or, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You know? And it shouldn't take all that. Like, you should be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, you don't deserve that. And you need to check that person and they need to not do it again. Um, so that's literally my mood all 2019. If I could have done that these past two years, I, I truly feel like I would not be here <laughs> in this situation. But everything is meant to happen for a reason. And I'm exactly where God wants me to be. And I find comfort in that. I used to kind of question, like, why would you put people in my life? Or why would you allow me to align with people if you knew, like, they weren't meant for me but at the end of the day like I told you guys in my where the hell have I been video um I never really had anybody do me dirty until these past two years so I feel like that's just his way of teaching me like hey everybody's not gonna be your friend because up until then like everybody was my friend I was a nice girl in school I got along with everybody nobody really like disliked me I wasn't mean I wasn't snarky so like up until I went to college, I was like, wait a minute, hold up, y'all crazy, <laughs> like real life crazy, but everybody's also not brought up the same way that I am. A lot of people struggle growing up, and that's the reason why they're so not evil <laughs> now, but a lot of people are just not built the same. A lot of people are a lot more cutthroat than I am. Story short, everybody has their own path, and just don't question shit. Just go with the flow. Make sure you're working your ass off and just keep working at nothing at this point. I want to be famous. <laughs> y'all want to have fun? <laughs> Nothing at this point can stop me. Please tell me y'all have seen that vine before. I gotta watch it at this point. We gotta start it. Hold on. I asked Kevin if he's ever seen this vine before, and he was like, no, y'all. Like, this infamous ass vine, how have you never seen this before? Hey. I should do shadow but like part of me is like just oh, I want to do a thick ass liner like thick thick way but <laughs> this is a pretty vulgar liner and I don't know what number this makeup shack brush is but as soon as I'm done making this liner I can definitely tell you I feel like I can't breathe and I honestly feel like I'm holding my breath Okay, so this brush, this liner brush, is a T71 from the Makeup Chef. Okay, so I felt like my eyes were naked. Um, if you know Taylor before she went down the hole, <laughs> you know, I used to love, love, love putting black in my waterline, and I'm going back to it because that's what I like and that's what I want to do. I threw some warmth on top of that, but now I'm going to go in, in my inner corner with this Morphe 30, oh, haha, let me stop playing. The 24G palette, and it looks like so. And I'm just taking like the light shimmery shades, like these two, and I'm throwing those in my inner corner. Okay, you might have been a little bit too much already, but it's okay. We'll fix it with some blush. That's why, I, honestly, that's why I like doing my blush last because I feel like my blush kind of marries my contour and my highlight together. Because if not, I can get a little heavy handed, and there could be like a whole stripe of highlighter on my face. This is Creme de Nude from MAC. I know y'all are looking at my lips like, yo, sis, so what's going on? What are you doing? But I always have like 10 products on my lips. 
it doesn't stop here. No, no, no. Um, and then I'm gonna take Too Faced Melted New and put that on top. Okay, so I got this Tarte Gloss. Um, honestly, this Tarte Gloss is just kind of nude. Like, real nude. I mean, I'm like, damn, bitch. I always end up wearing 10 things because I'm so indecisive. But anyways, I'm excited to try this. This is the Strike Gold Tardiest Lip Paint. You guys, look how pretty this is. It is so pretty. I'm just excited to try it on and see if I like it. Why does it smell like chocolate? But like, it's not like a good chocolate. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. I mean, I like Tootsie Rolls, but just drag myself. <laughs> um, I don't like how this smells. Smells like a, like, you know how they have like those uh, Hershey's? Oh, and it, my lips feel weird. It's too light. You know how they have those like Hershey's candles? Like chocolate candles? Ooh. Who invented those? You don't. No, you don't. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> Where have you been? Ta I'm so glad to see you back, Taylor. Is that you? Taylor, is that you? Okay, so if you couldn't tell, this is the final look. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I don't know, I'm excited to be with you guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I need my nails done, honestly. <laughs> I'm looking a little scraggly. If anybody missed my birthday, it's okay. You guys can still send me birthday gifts. I'm just kidding. I just want to show you guys my birthday nails, honestly. My mom literally was like, why did you get a two and a three on your middle fingers? So I can be 23 on you. And that is so not cute. Okay, I'm done. I promise. I'm gone.